Retiring Aubrey coach Paul Spargo has labelled his premiership team the greatest in Ovens and Murray Football League history. The Tigers survived Yarrawonga's gutsy final term fight back to snare a hat-trick of titles in a nine-point thriller. When Josh Merkel's stretch it off in last year's decider kicked this at the nine-minute mark of the final term, the margin was 37 points and Radio 2 ay summed up the feeling. Josh Merkel has sealed the game. They'll win now, Aubrey. Despite two pigeons goals in 90 seconds, the result still looked a formality. But their best laconic defender, Brad Henderson, changed that. Make a hero, son, he has! The margin was three goals and the league's magician set up a thrilling final four minutes. Guess who? Craig Edney has kicked the goal! Inspirational Tigers assistant coach Daniel Ma rushed to behind, but then overstepped. However, the Morris medalists stopped the charge. Just knew I had to push back, slow time back a bit because they were coming really hard. The Tigers home by a point less than last year's victory. Sion! Sion! Aubrey have got it! The Pigeons have now lost three successive deciders to Aubrey. They came hard and uh, it was just our ability to raise that intensity when it really mattered and that's what makes this group so special. It was deja vu from last year. Pigeons giant Sam Keenan battling a host of Tigers early. Matt Shannon broke one tackle but was caught. Andy Carey with the game's first major. Chris Hyde smashed into Tim Cooper. When Michael Stevens held Josh Ma, he handed the Tigers a flyer. Drew Barnes crashed into Joel Mackey. But the Tigers inflicted the greatest pain. Matt Fowler marking in front of Luke Toole for three in seven minutes. Yeah, it's very hard to wheel them back and um, it's been the case every time we've played them. We... They get a jump, we reel them back. The game desperately needed a Yarrawonga goal and the impressive Matt Dwyer delivered. But the class of Hyde still handed the Tigers a 22-point break. Into the second and Keenan gold early. Brad O'Connor then snared a strong mark. Mackie and Tyler Bonnet though coming to grips. Then Aubrey's only non-premiership player in Sam Milne opened a 15-point break. Against the Barry White kicks a goal! It halted the mini-surge. Tom Yates pinpoint pass to Luke Daly, extending the margin. The classy Xavier Leslie found former All-Australian Joel Smith and his lively second quarter resulted in a wonderful goal. The Pigeons again lifted underrated Craig Winray with courage. Then Edney produced a brilliant banana. A little bit of Marcus McMillan booted one of his three to reduce the margin to two points before Stevens hammered Did Simpson medalist Charles Gaylard. The Tigers carried an eight-point break in the half-time, but then Matt Wallington had a golden period finding McMillan. And when McMillan was held by Michael Thompson, the Pigeons had the lead. It would be two in the first five minutes. Yarrawonga had to make the most of its momentum, but despite some inspirational defence, Ma was free and regained the lead. Just Ma gets Aubrey back in front. It was riveting, and then Edney found O'Connor, who wrenched the lead back. Carey, though, produced his own magic. Unbelievably, over his head for a goal! Ma took a strong mark, and then older brother Daniel pushed the margin to 16 points. How'd he get down there? He goes long! The match was almost gone, and then Yates swooped in the final term. To cover himself in glory, Tom Yates! The Pigeons fought back, but the Tigers have now won 10 of their last 12 clashes. Paul Spargo is now the most successful coach the Ovens and Murray Football League has seen. He's the first person to claim five premierships. It's the moment which capped Paul Spargo's place in league history. The 44-year-old moved past a batch of league Hall of Famers, including Wangaratta Rovers' Neville Hogan to snare his fifth title. And Spargo will also be an automatic selection into the Hall of Fame, perhaps even as a legend. It's one thing I can tell you, the Albury Footy Club is a magnificent place to be. A 90-gamer with North Melbourne and Brisbane, Spargo had three stints as Albury coach, winning his first titles in 95-96. He led the Tigers from second bottom to the minor premiership in 2002 and then joined Richmond as an assistant coach. Spargo returned for his final stretch, a hat-trick from 2009. In all, he won 108 of 126 games, an 86% strike rate. Yeah, I've played on some good coaches. He's definitely the best, mate. He's, um, you, you, just, you just want to bleed for him. Phenomenal what he, what he puts into the footy place. Best ever coach you've had? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yep, yep, love him. Andrew Moyer, Win News. Meanwhile, the player that was dumped on the eve of the big one has spoken candidly about his wrongdoing. Andrew Robinson was axed for breaking team rules and watched on as both the reserves and seniors contested the deciders. 
should have been dead and tucked away. And, um, yeah, it's, it's cost me a fair bit, but um, something like this, yeah, you learn quite a bit from. He's a great person. He'll bounce back. He understands, um, and hopefully uh, he'll be a better person. Robinson kicked the winning goal in last year's premiership.